Now let's set up your Millermatic 355 for the self-shielded flux core welding process. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 355. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. First, make sure your machine is powered off. Open the side door. Route the control cable through the access hole in the front of the machine. Then install the MIG gun into drive casting in the front of the machine, making sure it is completely seated in the wire drive assembly. Tighten the gun connection to the receptacle with the threaded side knob. The four pin plug and receptacle are keyed to ensure proper alignment. Rotate plug to engage the control cable to the four pin receptacle. Twist the collar to tighten. While the machine is still off, connect the drive lead into the negative receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Next, connect the work cable to the positive receptacle and turn clockwise to tighten. Now, the machine is set up to DCEN, or electrode negative. The machine ships with a set of 035 and 045 drive rolls. Remove these drive rolls and replace with V-knurled drive rolls that will match the wire diameter. To ensure the drive roll groove matches the selected wire, insert the drive roll onto the drive roll carrier so that the desired wire diameter is facing out on the drive roll. The Millermatic 355 is compatible with wire spool diameters up to 12 inches. Next, install the spool of wire to allow the wire to feed from the top of the spool and fasten with the spool hub nut. Adjust the wire hub tension nut to allow the wire spool to rotate freely. Pull the wire from the top of the spool and feed it through the inlet guide and close the pressure lever. To start, set both drive roll tensioners to two. Then turn the rear tension knob a half turn counterclockwise to reduce the chance of bird nesting between the two sets of drive rolls. Prepare the gun by removing the gun nozzle and contact tip, then turn machine on. After three seconds, the machine will enter jog mode where the output and shielding gas will be turned off and wire feed speed will increase. Reinstall the contact tip and nozzle. Finally, check the drive roll pressure to ensure a trouble-free weld. Release the rear tension knob and start with the front tension knob set at two. Place your gun tip over an insulated surface like this wood block and feed the wire until it feeds consistently and curls on the wood without slipping. Adjust the tension as needed. Engage the rear tension knob and set the rear setting to match front tension knob. Then close the side door. To use Auto Set Elite, press Auto Set button and the button will illuminate. Then select the wire type, diameter, and material thickness. Or to use manual mode, press Auto Set button to disable Auto Set feature to adjust your voltage and wire feed speed. As a guide, the electronic parameter chart can be accessed while in manual mode by pressing the P chart button. View the introduction video to learn more about this feature. Setting up your Millermatic 355 to weld with self-shielded flex core wire is as simple as that.